What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Jay Cook, and this is Matt Nab doing the drive of shame. Half an hour ain't too bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And today we're gonna get some stuff going. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so I guess uh, we're going to pull the motor and transmission out of tetanus this morning. Yeah, it's probably going to slip. Hell yeah. Super sketch. Oh, it is really sketchy. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, it's so hard. Matt's down here <laughs> taking the linkages loose on the on this uh, car. Sorry, we we're just laughing about something. Uh, I just got both headers loose on both sides, and as you can see, all the fronts taken loose, and we're almost ready to pull this thing out. I wish every new car was as easy as this to work on. Amen. This was a lot easier than that other one. Well, we got two front tires that hold air on tetanus and we pushed it right there. That thing never rolled so easy in its life. Uh, now, I'm gonna air up the rear tire on this car. Hopefully it holds air. We're gonna put it on these skates just on the front K member for right now so we can roll it up this way. As long as I've, like I've said before, as long as I've known Matt and his whole family, this thing has sat just like this for all these years. I've never seen it without jack stands underneath it as long as I've known them, so. So Matt and I were clearing out this Ram Charger because we got somebody who's wanting to buy this to get it out of here. And uh, we were making room in one of those satellite wagons for stuff and we found this score. We got a brand new tail panel for the charger, brand new fuel tank, a really nice transmission cooler and just some other little odds and ends, and a brand new alternator in a box. What a score that is, Matt. Yeah, I am mean, happy about it. Oh, me too. That yeah. was that's a lot of money we just saved. Yeah, especially getting this valence. I know it. Because as you can see. Oh yeah. Since we have it up out the ditch here. It is, is really uh, gone. Some weight reduction. So, um, yeah. so this morning our goal is to we're going to strip down the engine bay, and get it ready for paint because we decided we want to paint this because they look terrible when they're not painted good. Yeah, why not? Yeah, and the engine's already out and everything, so why not? So we're stripping this down. I wanted to show something. Any of these old Chrysler cars, any of these Mopars, the bulkhead connector, they always want to burn, as you can see here. This is a fire hazard. It's something any of these old cars you need to look and see. Um, you can either fix it with replacement parts. I've drilled through a bunch of them with a drill bit and just ran the wire through. Um, so either way, but anyway, it's a good point or something to look at. Well, this is after one round of um, oven cleaner that we've done. So Matt and I went and got some more oven cleaner. We even sprayed some right here and you can see what it took off some of that old paint. That's what we're going after. As you can see, we're snowing her white with some scrub free oven cleaner. <laughs> Just gonna spray everything and see what it does and let it soak. Matt, don't eat that. <laughs> Did I get you? Oh, yeah. Sorry, man. <laughs> Woo! We got the uh, whole engine bay snowed out. So we're going to let that sit for a little while and do its thing. And while it's doing its thing, we're going to raise the back end up, put jack stands underneath it, and remove the rear fuel tank. And we're going to address of, we're going to try to address what we need back here in the back structure wise. So we're trying to get the fill neck out and we didn't notice that someone had already put a makeshift floorboard in here. We did not notice that. As you can see, all the makeshift stuff right there, they're all cut and riveted all in there. So we're gonna get this out so we can get this out, so we can get the tank out and then we can assess how much stuff we're gonna need to structure the back of this car to make it safe. Well, the fuel tank's out. We finally got that out, and you can see how really rusty it is back here. 
Uh, we're definitely going to need all the stuff basically back here. Trunk pan, new brace, front, those two pieces, that brace, and then the whole trunk pan, and then all the rear valence stuff. We got a lot of stuff to get, but we were expecting it anyway. And we found a set of quarter panels that we might be able to use for this thing, the lower quarters. Uh, pop some lower quarters on it somewhere right in here and get rid of this. Wow, a lot of rust. We got the car up on jack stands. We got the whole front of the engine, everything pretty much degreased. And that's really about it. It took most of the day just doing that. That kicked our butts, but we were spraying and had to let it sit. And we got the fuel tank out of it and fought that. And we got it all right where it is for now. We got a new plan for this car. Actually, we're gonna to try to take this over to Matt's shop here soon. Yeah. And that'll make it easier for us to work on it. Cause we're getting to the point now where we gotta do structure stuff in the back. We got engine stuff to do up front and we just don't want to do it out here. It kind of sucks. I'll talk to my boss and we'll, we'll get back with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's early morning. Been several weeks later. Weather has not been in our favor, but today we are back in on the 68 Charger Project Freebird. Um, today we're going to be working on getting the subframe out from underneath it. We got Matt has this handy dandy dolly that's made for these cars. We borrowed from a buddy of ours. We're going to put that underneath it to make the car rollable. And we're going to vacuum out the interior. I brought my shop vac just so we can see what all floor pan stuff we got to repair. Because obviously right there and obviously this Flintstone hole right here. Uh, so that's what we got to get going on today. Is there anything else, Matt? Uh, we're going to... Go look at tetanus and see how much of the floors we can cut out of it oh yeah that is that is our donor car a lot of you have been asking what we're going to do with that car that's our donor car for this car it still it keeps on giving i think you've used a bunch of parts of that off your brother's the car is like the giving tree i don't know if y'all remember that book shell silverstein i think was the author <laughs> it is well, we a have a charger. Tree. yeah it's the charger giving tree so that's what's in store for the rest of this video I got the floorboards all vacuumed out, cleaned out pretty much. Uh, obviously we're gonna be needing some patchwork right here and there's a few little pieces right in here we can probably cut out of tetanus and weld in. And obviously the floor over there and then a little bit back there. And I only had to unclog the vacuum about eight times. Uh, Matt is working on getting the, what's left of this homemade custom exhaust out with a Sawzall. It's looking nice. So we're moving right along. Matt got the exhaust removed and now he's working on loosening up the torsion bars and hopefully these are going to come out. That's what we're hoping because they tend to stick in there pretty good. So. Finally got both torsion bars out. Had a beat and bang on that while Matt held underneath there as you can see not fun but they're finally out yeah nope. uh -oh. okay it moved a lot All right, we're about to be moving this Ram Charger down the driveway and park it down there where the other stuff is, get it out of the way so we can pull tetanus back there out and begin on the floor pans. Okay, this is as far as we've gotten with the Ram Charger. We pulled it up this way with Matt's truck and we was hoping it was come off this little hill and turn. 
but you, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it kind of it goes uphill. So as far as we got, suck part is it goes through the woods here. We don't really have a way to hook to it good because we want to pull it up straight. So we got a chain going with a strap going to another strap to the back of Matt's truck. You ready for this sketchiness? On a scale of one to ten, it's eleven. Yeah, I think so because the. They're not really hooked together that good, so at least we're going to be inside vehicles. That's good. Okay, as you can see, we pulled the car back and we were checking floor pans because in all fairness, we never really vacuumed this car out. Matt was pointing that out. We just... We just raked the stuff out best we could. And obviously the floor pans are no good. I mean, back here, we found this hole. We, we just kind of tap it around. Found a hole over there. Obviously over here by the throttle pedal, you can see sunlight. And right here, we, we like this one. Um, I was kind of beating around with this old torque wrench thing we found laying around, just kind of tapping around. And I tapped through this. Isn't that cool? It was right there. So. These floor pans are, uh, we should have suspected, are garbage. So I think we're just going to order new ones. Well, I guess this concludes another video. Uh, we kind of got a new game plan of everything. Just means more money. Oh, well, we already kind of expected that. Whatever. What do you think, Matt? It's going to be expensive any way we do it, so. Yep, that is true. It's going to be expensive any way we look at it. But we got uh, we're going to do all new, like I said, trunk pan or Trunk pan, floor pans, all that stuff is going to be new and replaced. It'd make the car more solid anyway. And I guess that's it for this video. Maybe next time when you see it, it'll be at his shop. And it'll be a whole lot easier for us to work on. He has a lift, everything, all the tools that we'll ever need instead of having to get out here and look for stuff forever. So It's getting a little old. It's getting a little old. And we don't have to fight weather. That's another thing we're not going to have to worry about anymore. So anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like, subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll see you all next time. Be good to one another. Peace out.